All right, happy Friday to you all. It is Friday. Do you know what that means? It is time for the NPL Video Game Club. And today is Friday, March 4th, 2022. Hope you're all having a wonderful week so far. A safe, bountiful, and fun week. So, didn't mean to interrupt the, the nice little slap bass music of, I believe that's Dracula X playing, if memory serves correct. So, hope you're all having a fun time. As always, Aldo here. Happy Friday to all of you hanging out. Linda, E.C. Myers, TV Games, happy Friday to you. Hope you're having a wonderful, wonderful week. <coughs> Excuse me. That, that was just lingering. Sorry about that. Again, hope you're having a fantastic week. And yeah, so uh, we are going to attempt to complete Super Castlevania 4. For those of you who may have stuck around last week, we... Got, I think, to stage six, if memory serves correctly. So, I don't know how many stages there are in total. If I were to guess, I would imagine eight or nine. But again, I could be wrong. Usually that's, that's how it works in the eight and 16-bit eras. But uh, nonetheless, before I begin, I just want to give a little mention here. As I've done in the previous weeks, just uh, what's going on here at the library. So, for those of us who are looking for some tax help, Fine folks at Simplify CT and Vita are offering free tax prep over at the library. So all you need to do is, uh, I just need to get the link for you, but uh, if you follow, if you go to their website, which I will pull up momentarily, of course, uh, I didn't have it with me when I started the whole spiel. I should have had it, but that's on me. Um, so you know what? Let me get it right here. But uh, if you follow the prompts here, You'll get uh, to where you need to go. So let's see. Here we go. Let me just get that link over in the chat. 8-Bit Glitch, what is up, my friend? Happy Friday to you. Hope you're having a good one. So if you go to this website, Simplify CT, and you click on the Get Started Now tab, uh, you'll just fill out a few demographic questions. Uh, it's going to ask you for your you know, address and the things like that, and then pick a site, which would again be, if you were in the Norwalk, Connecticut area, Norwalk Public Library. And follow the prompts, and eventually you can set up either an in-person appointment at the library, or you can do it virtually, meaning that they call you by phone. I did it myself two weeks ago, and it took me all of uh, maybe about two days to get it all set. So big shout out to the fine folks at Vita for helping me file my taxes this year. And again, there is no shame in asking for help with the with taxes. They can be quite intimidating, especially you know if you own a home your family, if you have uh, other circumstances, you know, the more forms you get, the more confusing filing your taxes can be. So the people at Vita and Simplify CT are licensed and officially licensed by the IRS, and they are able to handle any paperwork you've got, any questions you may have, and again, there's nothing wrong with having questions. So it again, it is a free service. You cannot beat free 99. <laughs> so if you are in the area, please, I, I uh, encourage you to check it out. But you can also go to the website, and it, it's not limited to Norwalk. There are other locations as well. So uh, also, you know, in, in case you're looking for it, maybe check out your local library and see if there's any, any similar type of program. So this is going on up until April 14th, which is right for the tax deadline. And again, it's free. And you a, a little bit of worry off your back. So... Thank you to the fine folks at Vita for offering this wonderful service. And they've been doing it for a couple of years. And it's a really awesome thing to, uh, to see people in the community get helped out. Because like I said, taxes can be very intimidating. Uh, and if you say they're not intimidating, you are lying. Everyone is scared of taxes. So <laughs> this helps it be a little bit more manageable. So big shout out to them. And uh, yeah, what we are playing today. Well, we're again, as I mentioned before, we're playing Super Castlevania 4. This originally came out on the Super Nintendo. Correct me if I'm wrong, I believe it was 1991, if I'm not mistaken. But yeah, taxes, what's that, right? Scary, scary stuff. But yeah, that's what we're playing today. We're going to continue that because we did it last week. And I believe I left off at stage six, I think. So, 
Shout out to Rax the Great. He was actually, he popped in last week. And he was legitimately so proud of me, like a, like a proud papa, seeing a little baby cub bear, you know, move out into the wilderness of Castlevania. Because again, I would be the first to admit, I am not a huge Castlevania fan. Uh, meaning, I don't mean that in a negative way. I just never latched on to the Castlevania fandom in the games uh, as growing up. I, I grew up playing Simon's Quest, but really past the 8-bit era, it kind of just all passed me by. Um, so, and again, Castlevania, I understand. It is a huge legacy. It is very well respected in many circles. And I respect it, for sure, because it's got a huge legacy and it's got some great music. But I never really took the time to, um, yeah, I didn't mean I'm not a fan. I guess, I don't mean that in a negative way. It's just I never put the time into Castlevania that many others have. But I totally hear you. Unsubscribe. There it is. Well, that's the end of the video game club. We're, we're over. Huh. All right. But uh, yeah, I just, there were so many other games I was playing that Castlevania, outside of Simon's Quest, that's the only one I ever owned at the time growing up. And really none of my friends had, you know, Symphony of the Night or Super Castlevania 4 or Dracula X or Bloodlines. No one I knew had it. Uh, so... I guess I was too busy with Streets of Rage, I guess, maybe, to, uh, to really give Castlevania. And again, I was a Genesis guy. I was a Sega guy. And Castlevania at that time, outside of Bloodlines on Genesis, uh, it was really just a Nintendo property. So that's kind of why I kind of fell off the wagon, as it were. But before I begin, if you are interested in checking out what we do here at the library, social media handles are right above this ugly mug right here. You can check out our Instagram. Twitter, and Facebook handles. That way you can be up to date on all of the programs that we offer at the library. John JT, what is up, my friend? Happy Friday to you. Happy Friday to you all. Hope you're having a fantastic week. And maybe seeing me fail, potentially, at Castlevania, Super Castlevania 4, I should say, might make things a little bit better for you. We shall see. And there's Bloody Tears playing right there. Though maybe some of you Castlevania uh, aficionados can maybe tell me. This particular song is... Was it in a... Was it in a particular version of a game? Because it's not the Simon's Quest Bloody Tears. Or is this a remix? Because again, Simon's Quest is the one I know. That's, that's my bread and butter. Which people don't like Simon's Quest. But I, it's, it's, the one, it's the first one I ever played. And I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Because I, I, I know fans don't like it because it doesn't follow the traditional Metroidvania uh, layout that the, the series is known for. But I love Simon's Quest. Ooh, boy. The ear sore that is... Is that the Famicom version, really? Was it, was it the... Because I know the Famicom disc system had Castlevania 3, right? Um... Is that the arrangement in Castlevania 3 for Famicom disc? Because this song here plays in Castlevania 3, I know that. I didn't know last week, but you may have heard it. I don't know if it played during the starting soon screen. I, I plucked a couple songs from Castlevania's history to uh, play, and this was in Castlevania 3. This one is from Dracula 2. Noroi no Furin, the Famicom version of Simon's Quest. Okay. So even the cartridge versions of Famicom had some extra instrumentation. Okay. I wasn't aware. I thought it was only the Famicom disc versions that had extra bells and whistles to the songs. You prefer linear Castlevania games? Yeah, same here, Apex Lich. Yeah, the whole Metroidvania revisiting areas and going back to them is just, yeah, never. And again, same thing with Metroid. I respect Metroid. But it's, it never really grabbed me, that whole aspect of having to go back and backtrack and do all that stuff. This track is from Akumaju Densets, Japanese version of Dracula's Curse. Akumaju Densets. Yes, which is the uh, legend of Dracula, right? Densets is, uh, usually means legend. 
Only certain Famicom games had extra instrumentation like Zelda and Kid Icarus. Okay, yeah, yeah. I, I'm aware of a few of that, but definitely John JT. He is a uh, musical, in terms of video game music, he's an aficionado. And he actually uh, composes his own video game music, so that's pretty cool. Thank you for the history drop and the lessons. Appreciate it. So let, let us begin, right? Let us go. And I hope Konami jingle. Ah, you heard that and you were like, all right, this is a quality experience. Can't really say the same for Konami nowadays, but <laughs> it is what it is. All right, so, uh, you know what? Let's change that and change that over to, to that frame. Thanks for the plug. No, no, absolutely. Thank you for the knowledge drop. That's awesome. I appreciate it. Uh, all right, so. Gonna load. All right, so here we are. This is stage 6-1. I hear the Konami jingle and I think of Gradius 3. It uses the same one. Yeah, I... I do, much like Capcom and Sega... Uh, the, the jingles were slightly different depending on the games that you played. But uh, let us begin, right? I, I need to remember the buttons now. Um, you know what? I think maybe can I can I not change the buttons? Oh boy. Alright. Um, I, I guess not. Manual? Uh, all right. Whip controls. Last whip in this. Uh, let go whip. Whip go limp in a specific direction. Right bumper. Use item. It would have been nice if I could just switch that to the right trigger. I wonder why the bumpers are the only ones you can use. That is weird. Um. Okay. So X is whip. A is jump. And that's about it. Continue holding the X button after lashing the whip towards a hook. Okay. All right, here we go. Rax, the great, this is for you. Hopefully you can... Oh, these guys come back. Okay. I was not expecting that. I wonder if there's a way to permanently get them. Ah. Alright, well. That was a little trick I wasn't expecting. I don't want to duck. So now these enemies are getting a little bit trickier. These zombies are from Simon's Quest. I know that. Ugh. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Could use some health, guys. Is there a strategy for those little dogs that just respawn? Oh. Okay, whoa, 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 wait a minute. I'd rather just save to be to be uh, safe here. What? A more obnoxious version of the red skeleton? I hate this part. Oh, TV, what's up, buddy? I'm sorry if I didn't, if I missed you earlier. I'm so sorry. But thank you, all of you who are watching. Appreciate it. If you give us a thumbs up, let us know that we're doing a decent job and... Maybe helping make your Friday afternoon just a little bit more relaxing. Then that's cool. The higher-ups of the library like those metrics, so 
We would appreciate it. Any shares, any spreading of the word, if you let your people know on social media that, you know, libraries play video games, surprisingly. Believe it or not, we're more than just books. I did, okay. Well, my, my memory is short-term, so I'm so sorry. But nonetheless, hello everyone. Welcome to the NPL Video Game Club. We are continuing off with Cast Super Castlevania 4, which we started last week. And this is a shout-out to my friend Rax the Great. He is a huge Castlevania fan. Oh, okay. I've got a... I got a swing. All right. Uh, hmm. There it is. All right. All right. So I've got to use the momentum to jump over. Oh! <laughs> and that, I, I didn't listen to my own advice. I fell. I think many people may overlook how gaming can improve reading. Yeah, you know, especially with games where you had to uh, read, like, little subtitles and stuff. Yeah. But the chandeliers always makes me nervous because of the jumping mechanic. Yeah, because they're so stiff. You're right. You can't rely on them. All right. And it also actually changes your position. I mean, I'm sure there's... A I mean, logic tells me that this is the safest way to do it. All right. I mean, that is pretty cool, though. It's pretty cool sprite manipulation. And I failed once, so that's cool. You know, you, you live and learn. And there is no shame in using save states. No, no, no. But that's a pretty cool sprite manipulation effect. And you know what? See, I, I got too hungry there. And I jumped too soon. Or I jumped too late. Fool me once. There you go. Then... There you go. There you go. Mode 7, Indy. Oh, you know what? Hold on. Yeah, Mode 7. For those of you who don't know what Mode 7 so Super Nintendo was capable of something called Mode 7. It was a way to... It's like a, a really cool sprite manipulation technique where certain sprites kind of like zoom in and out and they become bigger and smaller. It's like a dyna it's like a pseudo 3D effect, which is really cool. Oh, even more chandeliers. Oh boy. This is fun. During the pandemic, my son wanted to play games like Animal Crossing and wanted us to read everything to him, and we were like, sorry, learn to read or play something else. So he learned to read. Look at that. That is the power of video games. He was so compelled to get into Animal Crossing that he was like, well, I'm going to learn to read. That's cool. Radius 3 also used that pause. Oh yeah, there's quite a few games that use that. It's, that's a Konami jingle there. Gradius would use it. Uh, Gradius actually on the NES would use it as well. Contra. Um, uh, I think Metal Gear on NES had it as well, if I'm not mistaken. I think it's Universal Konami. Yeah, it, it is. Or at least early Konami thing. Pretty much every game had Gradius, gratuitous scaling and rotation, even Super Mario World. Yes, it did. And uh, Yoshi's Island actually used it as well. All right, so. Whew, all right. So I think the safest thing is to go on the arc here. I don't want to go too fast. There's no reason to rush. There you go. All righty. Made it through. But yeah, if any of you have some anecdotes with how you used to play Castlevania as a kid, I'd love to hear it. Oh, wait a minute. There we go. That chandelier is going to fall on me. Yep. And there's a hole. That's going to fall. Oh, alright. The debris hurts you. Okay. Okay. One, two, three, four. 
Nope, don't want to get hit by the debris. You know what? I can redo that without taking the damage from the falling chandelier. So I'm going to redo that. Interesting that they don't give you any health. That is pretty wild. Alright, so the, the broken floor actually doesn't fall on you, surprisingly. One, two, three, four. Oh, what are these? Oh, I'm sure that... I'm sure I can't touch that ghost. What on... Holy moly, that was fast. Whoa, 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 whoa. I played Castlevania poorly as a kid. Oh, I'm sure everyone did. It's, it's quite obtuse. First Castlevania game I played was the Simon's Quest Tiger Electronics handheld. Oh, man. Unfortunately, that didn't have the nice music. That was just bleeps and boops. Can a Belmont get some health here? Please. Cebu play. Alright, so those... These things are the toughies. Can they be destroyed, or do they just infinitely swirl around? I wasn't too big into Castlevania when I was younger. I took a dive about five years ago, and I've really loved them since. Just recently, in an attempt to 1cc the original Castlevania, I almost beat it deathless. Yes, I saw that on your uh, Twitter. Congratulations. These games will really test your patience. Indeed. No doubt. Yeah, see, I, I knew that. I knew those clouds, you, you couldn't. You couldn't mess with them. Alright, so the, wi the the little ghosts, the women ghosts, go away after you hit them once. Okay. Alright, that is... So the, the clouds you can't hurt. Ooh, okay, so they go at different angles. So either you duck, or you jump. And then these women kind of get in your way, but if you hit them once, it's all good. Alright, so then now, I can save. And then try to dodge these clouds. That's one. Two. Whew. All right. These things just keep dancing around. Ooh. Oh, wow. These things are obnoxious. Oh, I got stuck. Oh, wow. They they just follow you. Wow. All right. Is there some way to... Oh, you can... Oh, you can disable them. I didn't realize that. Okay, well. Now I feel foolish. All right. I hit them three times. One, two, three. All right. Well. Doesn't that make things a lot easier? Well, there you go. Oh, I missed item two. All right, well. All right, I got hit. Oh, so I can do that again. Is it possible? Yeah, I didn't I didn't realize you could. One, two, three. One, two, three. Oh, nope, nope. I want to do that without getting hit. So let me let me reload here. Practice makes perfect. One, two, three. There we go. One, two, three. 
I wonder why they fly up in the air. Is it because they're ghosts? One, two, three, four. And this guy. There we go. What is the item two? I, I don't know what that does, to be honest. I can't say I'm aware. E.C. Meyer says, I also really like the Worlds of Power Simon's Quest book when I was a kid. I'm not familiar with that. Was that like a novelization or was it some type of like choose your own adventure book, which was all the rage back then? I was just going to ask, uh, item one, item two, three are pointless anyhow, unless you intend to stick with a sub weapon for a long time. Ah, okay. Item two, three, you can shoot your sub weapon two times or three times in a row instead of one per however long it takes. Ah, okay. Well, I guess in the case of having the axe, it definitely helps. Ooh, health. I definitely want to save with that. And watch out for any clouds that may appear. I have a feeling there'll be... Oh, I have a feeling there'll be more. Ooh, alright. Nope. That was no good. All right, bats. Three. These guys are fast. One, two, three, four. Oh. oh, I got hit. That's no bueno. Two, three, three, four. There we go. Yeah, these guys are fast. That's those two. Again, nothing wrong, saves coming. Do not feel ashamed. Worlds of Power was a tie-in series of novels based on NES games like Ninja Gaiden, Metal Gear, Shadowgate, etc. Ah, okay. Intriguing. Come on, Simon, there you go. You can do it. Now I have a feeling these platforms are going to fall when I jump on them, so... Yep. Case in point. So the instant I... I gotta jump immediately. Tricky, tricky. In a new area, so you want to save as well. They do. The instant you turn around, too. Or the instant you jump, I should say. Alright, this guy. So you want to be careful. With spikes. Oh no. Alright, what's going to pop out of that coffin? It's going to pop up from behind. I knew it, but somehow that first whip didn't register. So I think, I think you just got to keep moving. I think you just got to haul butt. There it is. 
that Mr. Skeleton, he disappeared. Look, he despawned. Why not? I'll take that. Bones, what's up, my man? Happy Friday to you. How you doing? What's up, everybody? I can't stay, but wanted to pop in quick. You can do it. Well, thank you. I haven't looked at the poll results yet, but gave two options. If you think I could do it, or if it's game over, man. All right, nothing there. But I appreciate the positivity. Thank you, everyone. All right, I feel the boss is coming up next. So I think it's three screens per stage. Indeed, be safe out there. All right. Nope. Oh, is that a Medusa head? No, that's a skeleton. But I'm gonna load. I can do that better. I can get the skeleton. Get the jump on the skeletons. All right, maybe not quite. I, I could do that better. <laughs> Third time's a charm. Wait for him to back up a bit. There you go. Look at that slowdown. All right, so Red Skeleton's gonna come back. So these guys respawn. I wonder if there's a way to permanently And it's funny, Bones comes in and I start fighting Bones. Enemies literally made out of Bones. Aha! I love slowdown in classic games. There's something about breaking a console's limit that really satisfies me. Yeah, I mean, it's not obnoxious. Alright, so what do I do here? Well, somehow I missed. Somehow the hit detection didn't work, and it worked in my favor. Alright, so he becomes solid once you get close enough. So I need to destroy him before anything, I guess, is the idea. And his sword will not touch me, as long as I'm ducking. Alright, so that's the strat for him. Then one more whip, he'll go back down. Alright. Yes, turkeys. Gotta have your turkeys. Ooh, alright. Spinning coffins, so I'm gonna have to take them out one at a time, I guess. Same John JT, and the SNES was slowed down central at the beginning. I remember they got a lot of flack in the press for their slow processor, but it all worked out. Yeah, uh, actually, uh, give off some examples of games that, um, that slow down a lot. I'd love to know. I probably made that easier for myself because I attacked them outside of their range. If I got caught in the circle, it would have been a problem. Pro strats, you saw it here first. I know that table was going to hit me. Come on. Let's be serious. Let's... Alright, this looks like a boss right here. People have been fixing some of the slowdown lately, like Radius 3, really. Super Ghouls and Ghosts, yes, Super Ghouls and Ghosts did have a lot of slowdown, that's correct. A uh, slowdown that, well, again, Super Ghouls and Ghosts uh, was not in the arcades, but, um... Yeah, that, that series did not have slowdown in the arcade, from what I remember. That's cool, leave it to fans to fix everything. Alright, is this a boss? This is a boss, isn't it? It isn't. Okay. Dancing couples. Ah, 
I knew it. I knew it. I knew the table would come to get me. Alright, so I wonder what's the idea behind the, the, the dancing couples. Oh, there it is. Nope, nope, nope. Got hit too many times. Don't want to do that. We could do this better. I know I can, so... One, two. One, two. Ooh, what is that cross? What is that cross? Let me know, guys, because I am not familiar with that icon. Is that a something that would replace my axe? I'm assuming it's another item. Or is it an invincibility, like a temporary shield? Yeah, I know, like on the Mister, you can choose to overclock the processor in cores if you want to. Yes. Double Dragon, yes. Well, Double Dragon, yeah, did, did have slowdown. Yep. Even in the arcade, I remember that. Ah, the dancing couples were named Fred Ascare and Paula Abghul in the U.S. manual. Konami manual writers didn't take things seriously back then. That's the screen clear, I believe. Oh, okay, well. Oh, well. That wouldn't have come in handy. Fred Ascare and Paula Abghul. That is something else. Let me tell you. Who would have thought we'd have a bunch of puns here? Alright, you know what? I'm running low on time, actually. Hopefully, time resets on the next screen. It doesn't. Oh boy. All right, so that, we're going to run out of time here. Not going to have enough time to, to get this boss. I don't think so. Oh, boy. All right. Paula Abghul, yes, and Fred Ascare. <laughs> oh, boy. Thank you for that, Gem TV Games. That is... Oh, boy. Well, the manual writers were having fun back then. Let me tell you that. Uh, well, you know what? I'm going to save. And if I can beat it in 55 seconds, cool. If not, I'll take the loss and uh, and beat him or beat it if I can. All right, well. I almost died, but that's fine. I was able to contain them in a corner, so there's that. I'll take that. I I'm sure there was a way to take it without damage, but that's fine. Stage 7. Alright, looking maybe towards the end. I don't know. I don't know how many stages there are in total, so... News to me. Stage 7. Alright, awesome. Thank you, John JT. If you want bad names, check out the manual for Snake's Revenge. Ooh, Metal Gear 2. Never played it. I played the first one on NES, um, which that one is a very uh, neutered port. Butchered port compared to the uh, the MSX original, which I, I don't know if uh, they've ever released, because I know... What was it, on 360 and PS3, they had the Metal Gear collection? But I don't know if it had the original Metal Gear on it. Um, I know the original Metal Gear is on PC. If you go to good old GOG.com, I think has it. Um, but I know it was taken down for a while. Because Konami pulled a bunch of games digitally for a good while. I don't know if they were ever restored. But I don't know if the original Metal Gear was on Switch or anything like that. GG, thank you, Linda. You are a GG. GG to you, because in case none of you know, Linda has been going through a ton of games on her social media, and she posts on her Twitter 
that. She's just been beating games left and right. Just crazy. You must be at like at 20 games or so for the year. Oh, you can't jump all on the stairs? Well, that stinks. Oh, wow, that thing looks like Black Panther. Look at that. It's even got the necklaces on the on the neck. Oh, wait a minute. Are those books going to attack you? They don't. Okay. I was just a little worried that they would. Ugh, I didn't duck. Foolish me, foolish me. I should have known better. So this is some interesting music. It's a little peaceful. A little cheerful, actually. I legitimately thought those books would attack you. jumped too far. That's my fault. Past 26 now. Wow. Okay. Congratulations, Linda. You are, you are on a storm. Round of applause for Linda for beating all these games. I wish I had your drive, but uh, I don't. I don't have it in me. All right, so I can save here. That way, in case I mess up again. You made a video for February, and it will be on the channel next week. Nice. Awesome. Looking forward to it, Linda. Just one second here. Yeah, indeed. This game's got strangely calming music. I love this stuff. Hopefully, uh, how is the sound? Is it all right? Uh, I mean, by design, it, it lowers when I speak, so that hopefully on its own, it's good enough for you guys to hear. I have to drive, but I don't have the time. Yes, indeed. Game Pass has been a big help because I don't have to worry about a budget. Yeah, I gotta uh, set up my Game Pass because for whatever reason, it just... On, on PC, it was just acting up. And I wasn't able to... Uh... Oh, here's Ghost Man. Oh. Oh, I'm doing the moonwalk. Look at that. The thing is, when you're on the stairs sometimes, your controls get inverted. There you go. I'm afraid of no ghost. I love, I love how he moonwalks. It's great. Alright, so because I'm on a new screen, I want to save. Only up to 13 games so far this year, and some of those were very short games. Yeah, you know, I don't keep a log. 
What do you guys think? Should I keep a log of games that we beat here on the NPO Video Game Club? Maybe I should add it to the description of each uh, video. That way, you know, at the very bottom, maybe like games completed so far. The mixing is A-OK. -okay. Cool. Good for you. Nice, nice. Something strange in the neighborhood. Indeed. What's a budget? I know, right? Alright, bro. You had a shield, but that didn't really do you very well, did it? Should have had a car shield. That would have helped you. Oh! Alright, books. Alright, so now the books fight back. Alright, so... Oh! Oh, so they just... They just fly near you. Alright. They just kind of like home in on your direction. I just whipped those boys. Alright. Oh boy. How am I going to distinguish be- Okay. Thank you. And health. Thank you. That was much needed. It would be fun to see your list. Okay, so uh, I'll do it for the video game club. I'll have to go back to each uh, each video and see what games we've beat. It. We have uh, beat it. Beat. We've completed a few retro games. Not a lot, though. I mean, I don't know. We're we're what? So is this episode sixty or is this sixty already? You guys have been with me for sixty weeks. That is crazy. Thank you for. For uh, finding this to be mildly entertaining enough for you to spend your Fridays. It really means a lot. Ooh, that's not a bad idea. I saw that movie for the first time ever a short while back. What, Ghostbusters? You've never seen Ghostbusters before? Oh, man, John. My oh, man. We've got to have a talk. It's time for a timeout. You're grounded. <laughs> I can never forgive it. Oh, maybe I shouldn't have switched to the deck. Oh, see? Look at this moonwalk. Look at this. Simon channeling his inner Michael Jackson. Alright, so how am I going to get this guy? Uh, Alright, whoa. Nope. That's what I was trying to avoid. I could do that over. Why did I save? Oh, I saved in a bad spot. Okay, well. Well, I guess one hit isn't isn't the end of the world, so it's it's all right. Two hits though. Yeah, don't want to do that. See if I can recover. See, this guy is just shooting. Ah, I was gonna get hit twice anyways. He's just too close. He's too close. So I don't think I could throw my uh, knife at him. Nope. Alright, that... That wasn't gonna work. See, this guy is just happy to throw things all day. Ugh, the jumping. Like, you you can't do a soft jump. Like, it's, it's either one, it's either zero or a hundred. There's no in between. Uh, if there was a way to drop immediately, see, like that, that's just... I gotta take the hit. There's no other way. Unless I throw the knife. Maybe maybe the knife takes... Gives me some extra damage. So you know what? Let me deal with him first. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. 
So you want to try to do it while that fan is away. Alright, well, you know what? This, this may do it. It'll just take forever, but it may... Alright. So that's the really long-winded way to do it. <laughs> I'll take it, though. Hopefully it's not at the cost of time, but... But there's a will, there's a way, right? Doesn't matter the number. The list is good, even if you only were to beat one game. Taking your time. Yeah, no, you know what, Linda? That you're absolutely right. You are correct. So I make a video and say sorry for not playing more games, and I comment GG because any game finished beaten is still awesome. That is correct. All right, I have a feeling these books are gonna mess me up because they have a predetermined path, right? And then, oh boy, all right. All right, so now this guy. So in case I mess up here. Save that bad boy. Lucky. Luckily, there's no fall damage, either. Alright, 7-2. What? How much you want to bet those frames in the background are going to come attack me? They're just asking for it. Some games take 60 hours or more, and that is a win, yeah. It's unfortunate that most games... Let's see. The picture is alive. Alright, so... Let's see, if I can get by without getting hit by the bats, that would be great. Even retro games can take quite a while, but usually not 60... Yeah, unless you're playing a good RPG. Alright, that didn't work. There's gotta be a way. An ideal angle to get these bad boys at. There it is. And I messed up. I messed up. It didn't whip. For whatever reason. See, I can, I can do that without taking a hit. I feel it in my bones. There it is. Now that I got over that. Alright, so red dogs... So these guys, uh, you know, I have enough hearts, so I'm fine. All right, you're gonna come attack me through the wall. All right, these spikes, tell me. It's probably a thing where you have to keep moving, because you're going to fall. Am I right? Ah, the bump brings you to the spikes. Okay. Right, there's a bat right there. Ooh. Alright, I could take that without the hit. So you just gotta keep moving. How evil is that, huh? So as long as you move pixel by pixel, you're fine. Ah, yes. Alright, John, you were correct. That does instantly KO the enemies. So look at that. A moonwalk in celebration. Alright, so do I go this route? What is over here? With the extra trouble.
Just a big heart. All right. Was it really worth? Oh, the bats. The bats. They respawned. All right. Well, it wasn't really worth it because it was just a big heart. What is this? Flame centipede thing. What could it be? Do I need to worry about it? Oh, I do. Okay. Those are some trap doors, I saw that. Alright, I've got full health. But does that worm thing respawn? No. Okay, good. So she stops moving when you hit that part. I wonder if you leave it alive, will it attack you later on, or does it spawn those bats? Ah, you got a duck. I get it. I see. There's a couple bats here. I see them. Not gonna fall victim to these bats. So I'm gonna activate them one pixel at a time. So that way they're manageable. Alright, boss time. Alright, we're making steady progress. And you know what? Again, no shame with the saves. You know, if you gotta save, you gotta save. There's, there's nothing wrong with that. Don't ever let anyone tell you that save scumming is, is cheap. Nope. Especially with these games where you you want to go. That's fine. Alright. Mr. Knight's going to come out of here. Got him. Dodge the fires. Alright. That wasn't too bad. Just took one hit. If you could see me now, Rax, you'd be so proud. Is this it? Is this the final stage? Stage 8. Or is there, there's probably a stage 9. Oh wait, there's, there's Dracula. There's the bat. GG, thank you, thank you. Oh, this is it. This could be it. All right. On a scale of one, you know what? Actually, I'm going to go grab some water because I could use some water. I don't know about you guys, but staying hydrated is important when you get your gaming sessions on. 
So I'm going to go ahead and just step out for a quick second, but at the same time, I want to take a look at the results of the poll. 100%, you can do it. So we're going to end that. And you think that's where you're at with your save game? Ooh, okay. Cool. Well, we, we shall see. So I'm going to go and run, get some water real quick. I will be right back. But thank you so much for hanging out. Seven votes. All had said 100%. You could do it. Thank you. Thank you for the positivity. Really appreciate it. So I'm going to go grab some water. And it would be great if you could too. Maybe grab some H2O, juice, tea, whatever it may be. I'll be right back. All right. You'll drink water though, that? Nice. Thank you. Appreciate it. I am back. With said H2O, so cheers to you all for, for hanging out here on this Friday afternoon. Appreciate it. All right. Whether or not this is the final stage, I don't know. We shall soon find out. Creepy, creepy music. All right, so I want to don't want to get hit by the spikes. I don't want to get hit by the little spider either. Can't stay, but wanted to stop by and say hi. What's going on, VG Dust Leaves? Thank you so much. Hope you're having a good Friday, my man. Ooh, okay. There's acid, so I'm gonna not touch the acid. Oh, these guys are back. Oh, look at this. The little monster rancher guy got me. All right. All right, so if held, if if left along, alive too long, those spiders uh, drop their little progeny. So that could be a problem. So long as you duck, you're fine. One, two, three, four. The 
again if you duck. Luckily, you're safe. Watch out for the acid. Now you can, I could jump on this. I guess. To go to the higher ground. I can't touch that. So there's two drops. One and two. Oh, look at that. Wow. That is evil. Alright. So I'm gonna want to make a couple saves because that that guy is evil. I mean I applaud his evilness because it is pretty funny. One, two, three, four. Touche, evil eye. Okay, so it's around here. I have to go pick up my son, but I'll come back to watch a victory on the recording. Have a great weekend, everyone. Well, thank you so much, VG Dust Leaves, for being such a stand-up guy, as always. I am curious, though. What is on these... I mean, honestly, it doesn't matter if I uh, do that. I wonder if it's just easier going up. Honestly, it would take too much time. There you go. those guys just too much damage taken. Nope, nope, nope. I mean, I, I, I do want to get the hearts because I want to get as many uh, specials as I can. Got rid of him. So now I can save here.
I wonder... That just took way too long. Alright. I mean, if I can recover, that's fine. That was a little too tricky for its own good. Alright, so I wanna... Watch out. Actually, what I want to do is I want to jump up top. Ooh, okay. I didn't realize that would come after me. Mm, actually, I don't want that. I can load. Because now that I know those like those things fall from the ground, I can uh I could do better. Oh, wait, hold on. So I am curious to see what is down here. It's like a time. Is that freeze enemies, I think? Oh, alright. Whoops, did not want to do that. That jump did not come out very well. Alright, so you know what? Maybe I can avoid that. Maybe I don't need the clock. that actually a little that much freezes times for five seconds but uses a lot of heart oh it uses hearts okay yeah not worth it all right so i want to time this second uh the little instant kill thing so it spawns the other guy first all right So now I want to spawn the other guy. Get him. Get the bats. Watch out for the green goo. I have a feeling those fish guys are going to come out. I got full health though, so that's good. Definitely want to save for that. Oh boy. Oh 
Oh boy, alright, so I... I needed to move. Alright, so I gotta go, go, go. You know what, I could do that without taking that hit from the bat. He swoops down from an angle, I could just jump over him. Alright, maybe not. I gotta swing from an angle. Practice makes perfect, eventually we get it right. Well, I don't know if I need the boomerang. I think the axe does more damage, right? Probably should have stuck with the axe. Hey, you know what? I think I'm going to stick with the axe. All right, well, at least I know now. I, the third one, I swipe at an angle. There you go. Medusa heads. Alright. That's gonna be fun. Now see, was that thing worth it? I don't know. And I, I, I guess I'll never know. Nope. I don't want the dagger. Nope. That was not worth it. Well, I guess now it gives me a chance to see if the other item is worth it. got no choice but to take the hit. So it wasn't worth it. It wasn't worth it. Um, so I can just proceed normally without taking that extra hit. I wonder if that hurts you while it moves. Come on, go down. Alright. I want to say fear, I don't want the daggers, so I definitely don't want to Get that candle. screen just want to save out of uh, an abundance of caution I 
I do wonder if those skeletons can hurt you, though. Is that invincibility? Yes, it is, right? Oh, boy. All right. Did not notice the green guys. Don't want that. Okay, so now these things will fall from the roof. So I gotta move, move, move. Ooh, wow. That is lovely. So now I've got to make a jump. Oh, I did not want that. Son of a gun. Well, you live and learn now. Which ones you need, which ones you don't. Jumped. Didn't jump good there. Alright, so I definitely didn't want that. Alright. I wonder if you duck, are you safe? <laughs> Instant doom, all right. I wonder if you duck, are you safe? So that's my question. You are, all right. Skeleton's probably going to respawn. Oh. Alright, now invisible platforms. And there's also those things that fall. So I got to follow them in the order they appear. Which is a pretty random order. All right, I got lucky. Lucky, lucky. All right, so there are spikes here, and that's a boss. I don't think it's Dracula. But uh, who, may, who will it be? took one hit. One hit. Not bad. I thought I could get him, but... Hey, Eric, what's going on, man? 
Happy Friday to you. Welcome to the MPO Video Game Club. What's up, my fellow Godzilla fanboy? What's up? Stage 9. This is gonna be it. This is gonna be the stage with Dracula. And you know what? If you pause the game, the ghosts still move around. That's a pretty interesting uh, detail. Thank you, TV. Yeah, I, I beat Frankenstein's monster. I got lucky. I only got hit once. I wish it would have been a no-hit run, but hey. What can you do? I'm assuming this is the final stage. So many ghosts. Ooh, what was that? Was that a free life? Alright, well. I don't want to get hurt, so let me switch over. No, no, no. Dracula, Dragula. What, do, what does that chime? Does that mean I got anything in particular? I have a feeling there's going to be a lot of twists and turns in this stage. So I need to be prepared. Like that, he just hits you instantly. Oh my word. Alright. <laughs> what are you supposed to do there? Is is you gotta take the hit. Or know it's coming and just jump. Alright, I foolishly took that hit. I could do better. But. So be it. Alright. There you go. Alright, so, well, one hit. Not the end of the world. I assume there's gonna be more bats. There's always more bats. Nope. You gotta watch out for these bats, they are the worst. What? Why does it take two hits for the bat? It's... Sometimes it's one, other times it's two. Very odd. Right. Gonna save while I can because you never know what this stage may bring.
Oh, nothing down there. Okay. This wall on the right looks like it, it can be broken. Hold on here. Wait a minute. I think Castlevania just uh, locked on me. Holy smokes. It froze. Look at that. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, it froze. Wow. Okay, so I'm going to have to uh, exit out of it. Look at that. Wow. All right, so hold on one second. Let me... That is not good. I mean, I saved it right before. I don't know if the save registered, but... Let me see here. I hope so, too. We shall see. Is it really? That's, uh, is this the final stage? Oh, man. All right. Well, let me see here. One second. Bear with me, please. Oh, wait, hold on. It's back. Okay. So the game just decided to freeze. Interesting. Okay, well, uh, let's hope it worked. <laughs> Sorry for that. I don't know what happened. Maybe uh, it's just a sign. The game doesn't want me to do that good. Ooh, this falls apart. Yes, I know that. I'm glad as well. I would have been a, I would have been a very sad boy. I got this far and couldn't uh, couldn't beat the game. <laughs> All right, bats. Yep, don't need to worry about you. Ooh, how do I get up there? There's got to be some goodies there. Oh, I see. Okay, so I was supposed. Ooh, okay, hold on. Let's see if I can recover and try that alternate route. Like right here, I want to swing. All right. Got my health back, so there's that. I, I will take that. Hate when games... Yeah, it was weird. It's, um... And it's weird because even my... Like, I couldn't do anything in Windows. Like, the game was frozen that bad that it just, uh... Didn't let me do anything. Oh, man. Wow, alright, you just gotta... You just gotta go. You just gotta go. That says no... No waiting. Wow, and he just pops up at the very end. Holy smokes. Alright, so so much for those, uh... Power-ups. There's no time. No siree. Not having that. 
Uh, he's got 80 hearts, so that should be more, well, more than well enough for uh, whatever comes in our way. All right, so this is actually where I am. Why do I give up at 90%? <laughs> All right, so there's a lower route, but there's also a hook. So I can try to get the hook, and maybe I can bypass some of this silliness. Oop, nope. So I'm going to try that. I'm going to try to bypass the silliness. Just gotta hook along and get it right. Get the momentum. There's gotta be a way. That upper path is calling my name. Alright, I am just not hooking it right, but there's gotta be a way. That path wouldn't be there for a reason. Or for no reason, it shouldn't be. We shall do this. There you go, you see? And I didn't hook it right. Alright, oof. Kinda got it, though. I gotta see what's there. Maybe it's like a whole bunch of extra hearts or something. I'm just I'm pausing too long after the jump. I need to I need to whip immediately after. Like that. But then even then. How am I going to jump far enough for that? Oh, alright. Maybe not. Oh, alright. Should not have been hit by that, but somehow I was. I wonder, how do you get s such momentum to be able to, to reach that, uh, platform. Doesn't seem to be possible. Unless I do it at the very apex. There it is. Oh, well, that's not worth it. It's the heart. Yeah, lower your chain. Yeah, I did. Um, Alright, well, the the little windmill, that, that wasn't worth it. I thought it would have been something real cool. I got the stopwatch. Um, yeah, that wasn't worth it. I don't think so. What do you think? Was, was is the stopwatch even worth it? Like you said, I can freeze an enemy, but... Doesn't seem to be worth it to me. You said, you said it takes a lot of hearts. I mean, I have 86 hearts right now. So it's it's probably more than enough than I need. And I guess with Dracula maybe getting that extra edge to hit him a few times for free uh, might be worth it. What, what do you say? May have a stopwatch. Don't know how effective it is on bosses. Ah, it may not even work on bosses. Okay. So you know what? I'll take your word for it, TV. So we're going to do that. And we're just going to do this. Oh, well, never mind. See, this thing is going to come after me. That's what I was worried about. So I want to do it to bypass the coffins. So that's just unnecessary damage. No reason to do that. So. That's fine. Then there's that little big dragon here. Ugh, 
Come on. There's one thing about Castlevania is the hit detection on it can be really wonky. Uh, and sometimes the swings don't go where you want them to. I got health. It's giving me a ton of hearts. And again, I could uh, take the lasso route, or the hook route. Maybe that would avoid some enemies. Looked it up, uses five hearts and doesn't affect bosses if to- Oh, okay. Well then that's pointless. Alright, so these coffin guys. Well, thank you for the info, TV. I, I really appreciate it. Alright, so what is going on here? Uh, that didn't work. <laughs> Do I need to wait for them to stop coming in? Oh, you just gotta go. That's basically what you just gotta... You just gotta book it. So there's this guy here. But I must be running. Great weekend, Aldo and everyone. Get D to the right ASAP. Yes, that I did. Thank you for the tip, TV. But thank you so much for stopping by. Have a wonderful weekend. I appreciate your support, as always. And that thing freezes you in place. Alright. Save again. So, upper route. I don't think that coffin is not even worth it. Are you kidding me? This guy's off screen. Wow. This guy. There you go. Alright, so as long as you get them from off screen, you're good. Multiple paths here. This has got to be it leading up to Dracula, because it's just all power-ups, pretty much. Oh, 
Oh boy. And if you follow there, you go to a, a previous screen, I'm sure. All right, so you gotta gotta hook it right. Can't even, oh man, you start all the way over there? Holy moly. All right. Wow. Well, learn the hard way, right? Save here in case I mess up the hook. But you gotta get the momentum for this. Alright, so this is the next screen. There's a lower and top part. Could this be Dracula? You're fighting him in a place full of gold, it doesn't seem right. His treasure room. Is this it? Is this the big one? I think I could do this a little bit. I'm sure he has multiple forms. So we gotta do this smart. Wow. One hit left. Alright, so that wasn't Dracula, but that was a bat. That's 9 2, so I'm assuming 9 3 is, uh, is Dracula. Okay, this is it. Stage A. Oh, is it not over? There's still more. This is like Mega Man, there's, there's more. Oh boy. I wonder. Alright, there goes Bloody Tears. You moonwalk up those stairs.
Oh, I didn't want that. Nope, nope, nope. Alright, so I can skip that item. I like how he moonwalks, that is delirious. Oh, slow down. There you go. Okay, new screen. I'm sure the Medusa head's gonna pop up anyways. That's just the way she rolls. Like I thought. Of course you got a duck. Oh, there's a moving hook now. All right. Moving on up. Oh, ho, ho, ho. wow. Okay, Rogue Gears. Good thing I ducked instinctively. Yo, Rax, what up, dude? This was done for you, my man. I'm glad you could show up. Um, I think this might be the final stage. It's called Stage A, but maybe not. Maybe it's like Mega Man, where there's like multiple. Oh, no, you're not hitting me, bro. Medusa head might hit me, though. Oh, I don't want that. I don't want that. You're like, yeah, it's all good, bro. Thank you for coming on in anyways. All right, so I want to make sure I don't get hit by that. And I don't want to hit that because that is the windmill. One. Two, three, four. Get rid of him. Then mosey on over. In case the Medusa head pumps up again, which she will, because she's evil. I mean, I probably don't need everything, but I want to make sure. I get rid of all the uh, enemies. I don't want the stopwatch. I'm good with that. So I want to save here in case I fall. All right. If I could skip all that, it's all good. There you go. 
All right, so if I know anything, these platforms are going to crumble when I jump on them, so I'm going to move up quick. Just as I thought. And ooh, I could do that better. Leave it to this game to have a Medusa head. There you go. Three, four. Don't mind me, saves coming. I'm just uh, playing it safe. And that's what I feared. Yep. Alright. Well, at least I know this thing immediately kills the enemies. So there's that. Uh, Oh, you gotta get that right. Alright, so I need to get that momentum right there. Then get him. Do you think? <laughs> yeah, I just, again, I don't want to start from the beginning. Uh, bless you if you did this on Super Nintendo. I mean, that's... Oh, boy. Look at that, you see, ooh. <laughs> you wouldn't have known. You only would have known if you had. Wow. I love it though. I love the deviousness. All right, these guys come back. Luckily, they're pretty dumb. They only go one direction, so that's fine. You wouldn't want to, yes, but well, I mean, back then you had no choice, but I mean, look, if they're giving me the option to do it, I'll do it. And you know what? Unfortunately, I switched to the knife at some point. Oh, I don't have the axe. All right. Uh, Mr. Mummy. This would have been the perfect time for the axe. Your mummy man. See, this would have been so much easier with the axe. Uh, all right. Oh, he's he's taking a lot of damage though. I can't really hit him. This is really just a battle of wills at this point. Oh, wow. Ah, oh, the axe would have been so much better here, man. I don't know how I lost it. I, I didn't keep track of it. That stinks. See, like the axe here would have been perfect because there's no 
outside of me doing this. I guess. Oh, I guess maybe the circle thing is what you're supposed to do. Because it kind of negates everything. For the most part. It's kind of a safe strat. It'll take longer, but it's safer. I mean, I'll take it. Okay. Did I just discover something? <laughs> I mean, it's not fully safe, but for the most part it is. It takes longer, but that's fine. I'll take it. Yeah, it's like, it's weird. All right, I got it. You're killing it? <laughs> Thank you. I'm literally just discovering this on the fly. Like, it's just... I like that, though. You know the fact that every enemy has a gimmick? He's the only boss that I saw that you can spam that on. Because if you're, um... Hitting him with the normal whip, it's just... The delay on it is too much. And it's really not that much of a trade-off in power. Stage B. It's so funny, you're so naturally good at games. <laughs> nah, there's some games I'm totally terrible at, but... Um, I don't know, I, I guess... Well, again, not all the Castlevanias are like this, though. So, things like Symphony of the Night and, and, and After, I think I'd be really bad at. Because that focuses more on leveling up and... and and doing stuff like that. That's where I don't... I just... It's just a mental disconnect. I can't... These guys were in Altered Beast. <laughs> They're from Altered Beast. They're holding heads. In Altered Beast, they'd punch you. Alright. There you go. Uh, which way? Yeah, the controls on this one are very forgiving. Yeah. Alright, uh, oh, alright. So this is the Castlevania 1 song. Ooh, all right. He got me. That's fine. But literally, those enemies are straight from Altered Beast. Like, I, I know them from Altered Beast. Comparing to the others, at least. Okay. Yeah, next time I see you, maybe you'll, you'll have to show me the ropes again with Castlevania and some of the other ones. Oh, all right. Whoa, whoa, whoa. All right. Nope, nope, nope. Forget the items. I don't need them. Just, just keep going. I mean, I'm sure I might have needed them for the items, but... What can you do? Oh, wow, is this a buzzsaw? Alright.
Uh, so that bus is gradually coming up. Uh, you just, you just gotta go. Alright. How are you even supposed to get that? Oh, wow. You have no time to dilly-daddle. You just gotta go. I wasted too much time. So that's the thing that gets me sometimes, is when you're so close to a, a thing, sometimes it doesn't register. Oh jeez, how am I- alright, he didn't grab onto the stairs. If you miss once, just forget, yeah. Just because of the time crunch, you're right. Of course, he got stuck. Why didn't he grab on? Oh, uh, you... You gotta go from one to the other in one false swoop. That's what it is. You just gotta... I just gotta go from one to the other. No landing on the platform. It's just... just gotta go. Okay. Ooh. <laughs> No, actually, I don't. There it is. All right. And just go, go, go. Oh, no. All right. I, you know, I tried jumping from the stairs once, but it didn't work. Maybe, maybe there's a timing thing. Alright, so you know what? I'm gonna save once I get here. So that's a little bit of a break. See, like that. Ugh. It, it sometimes doesn't register. I, I guess I need to hold a diagonal for it to register climbing up the stairs. There it is. Nope. That's one thing about the Castlevania physics cell. So Never fully understand. Stairs are funky. I just gotta keep holding. But I want the axe. Nope. I mean, I want the axe, but... I don't think I have enough time to grab it. It's kind of just there to, to tease you. How do I grab that axe without activating the steps? There it is. A moonwalk. Hey, well, let me not waste any time. And, uh, well, alright. I wonder if the saw... Nope.
Let's see, I don't know if the saw is still around. Alright, it doesn't seem like it. Oh, yes it is. Alright, I, I think I just skipped a good amount. <laughs> By luck. Uh, so I'm going to take that as a good sign. I'm just going to go up. So I know I'm still pressed for time. stairs do not look close enough to me to jump. Oh, spikes! <laughs> Alright. Jeez. Alright, well. I didn't know that. Come on. Don't get caught on the stairs. Jump. Actually, you said you could jump from the stairs, right? So maybe that'll be easier. If Simon would cooperate. Nope. He is not jumping from the stairs. Uh, he gets caught on the step. He doesn't want to jump. Wow. I don't have enough... S Ugh. I don't have enough space to do that. He gets he keeps getting caught on the step before he jumps. He only jumps down. What? He can't jump from the step? was so close. You just gotta hop, hop, hop. No, no. No time. Wow, that was pretty... That was pretty gnarly. Is this it, Rax? Is this it? We're going late, about a half hour late, but you know what? If it's the end of the game, I'll I'll take it. Alright, so okay. He does not stay in one spot. I know it's gimmick now. All right. So I can do better. So I just got to move after I hit him because he's going to land in my, my spot. May take some time. Oh, all right. I thought I ducked.
Oh, he changed his strat. All right. All right. Change the strat. So then I got to go on the high ground after I hit him because he hits low. I got to jump on those little ledges. Okay. I got it. Oh, he actually went low now. Wait, what? All right, so now he hits low. Just alternate. Oh. John U Segura, one of the first bosses in Symphony of the Night. Is that so? I had no idea. I'm very uh, not well versed with Symphony of the Night, so. Alright, so this guy, I want to duck down because he hits high and when he changes color Yeah, I don't know the, uh, you're not fast enough to dodge that, so I don't know what you would do. Interesting. The first phase is fine, because he automatically hits up, so you just duck. So as long as you duck, you're fine. So, somehow, hit detection did not work in my favor. I was. Alright, so now he's mad. Right? I guess if I jump, that's... But even then, it may not be fully safe. Oh, so you got to fight him and then Dracula? I don't have enough health. Well, I guess I can tank the loss. And if I respawn with a full health bar, I could do that. Unless it doesn't let you do that. I, I don't know. Hmm. Uh, do I save? I don't know. Saving might not be good. May, be put, may put me in more of a bind than I need to be. Um, I mean, if I die, will I come back or do I have to do the first boss? Like, do I do the, have to do them all in succession? That's uh, the question. I don't know. Hmm. Uh, do I save? Because unfortunately, there's only one save slot. There's not multiple. And this may. Well, no harm, no foul. I guess. 
Oh, okay. Health. Thank you. Thank you. All right, well, I answered my own question. Perfect. It's usually the walk to Dracula. There's no enemies, and it's just items galore. And there's another boss here. I feel like going on the left side. I feel that's safer. Oh, he's mad. Gaibon? Is that, is that who that is? Alright, one sliver of health. Alright, will you give me healing? Oh no, you won't. Oh boy. Alright, yes. Please give me more health. Oh, that's it? Oh, all right. So I needed to take less damage from this other guy because this life bar is not going to work. I need to take less damage from him. All right. Now he shoots the fire. If I can loop him in this area where I don't get hurt. Good. And then the chick, the turkey should uh, give me better health. All right, better than nothing. Better than nothing, so I'll take that over less than half. Thank you, John JT. So his name is Gaibon? Okay. All right, this is the big cheese, isn't it? Oh, no, it's the Grim Reaper. Oh, boy. I did just did not know his pattern. Uh, so he just moves around a lot. <laughs> and throws those scythes. Um, so I want to try to smack him. Immediately. So I don't, those size are, uh, man, okay. just doing some crazy damage on me. 
So I, I need to, like, not be so close to him because he just sucks you in. I passed off Death from the original Castlevania as the hardest retro boss I faced. But this one... Oh, well, the original, all you need is the holy water. <laughs> so that makes him easy. But, uh, not work here. See, when he's stretching out his hands, I... I don't want to touch his hand. Then he just goes right back to that. There he goes. Okay. Do you know, do those things hurt you? I don't even know. I don't even know. Oh, you... You better give me some health. You don't give me any health. This is messed up. Oh, nope. I don't want you. Really? Just that? Oh, man. <laughs> That's it? Wow, I, I just don't understand. Like, the uh, with death, just the, the scythes that he throws around, that's what hurts me a lot. Um, I wasn't, I don't know what specific strat there. I know the whip can break them, but, oof. Well, I guess let me find out if, if I can respawn here with full health, then that'd be great. Jeez. I gotta hit him in the head, don't I? Alright, good. Alright, so I can... Start fresh. What is that item? That candle. What is that? Actually, I don't have any items anymore since I died. Oh boy. Alright, so I gotta... I gotta find him the old schoolboy way. I've only got eight hearts. I'm assuming I need to jump and hit him in the head when he teleports, because the cloak is probably not a, uh, a point of damage. I wonder if I... Oh. Jeez. Okay. So when you hit those orbs, they split out into smaller ones. What? <sighs> alright. This is gonna take... We're, we're way past overtime here, but it's alright. Alright, so you can hit them multiple times. Alright. But see, I need to minimize my own damage. See, 
to. That just isn't going to work. And it does that. So it... Automatically when you hit it. So you know what it is? I need to hit him back up to give me space. And then hit the first, the middle two rings or the lights. I think that's the strat. At least for this first phase. This other phase, I have no idea. Like that. And then whip, I think, is, is that what I do. Oh. Mm. Alright, so that's that's one way to do it. Whip twice in a row. But sometimes you're just too close. Oh, okay. That thing heals you. Okay. Ooh, now he's now he's got fire, guys. All right. So it's just timing. You gotta hit this guy real good. Real fast. Ooh, this is a this is an endurance test big time. Alright. Ugh. Rax. I hope this is worth it. I hope you're still here. <laughs> Uh, alright, so I, I, if I can hit this guy twice, that'd be great. But the thing is, with this phase, I want to back away. So, nope, nope, see, that's I'm already messing up. I want to hit him back up and then whip twice so that I can break those orbs. This is really going to do a number. It already is, yeah. Alright, so he should always spawn here on the right. No. Nope. See? Sometimes it doesn't work. See, that's that's not what I want. That's... You gotta be far away, but he's not spawning to the right. I thought he would always do that in the beginning. Alright. Not good. Alright, so that's that's a good one. That's a good one. That's a good one, see? That's another good one. Now, if I could hit him twice with that, that'd be great. But I don't think that's going to be the case. Can you take out those small fireballs with the whip? Yeah, that's what I was doing, and they, they heal me, so there's, there's that. You know? fire. Oh, 
too much damage there. This is where it's going to get annoying. It's just the arcs on them is annoying. Alright, I should... Should use that fan. That fan would probably come in handy. not good. Alright, so the fan does work. I just gotta time that. Just the arc that these guys fall in is annoying. Still not doing enough damage to him though. And of course he spawns right there. Oh my god. Wow. I don't have any more fans. Wow, this is this is crazy. Just the arc that these guys fall in is annoying. They fall towards you. is doing better so I'll I'll save here unless it falls apart big time like so if I can get health What is this? Another phase? Oh boy.
So not only is he... I've got to dodge the lightning. Do this, come on. Come on. One more hit, come on. Son of a gun. All right. There it is. There it is. Take the sunlight. Take it with you. Get out of here. Is that it? All right, so that, I mean, that, that last, last war with the lightning wasn't too bad, as long as you see where it's coming. All right, almost an hour <laughs> extra. But to see the end of the game, all right, the castle is falling. Somehow Simon made it from there to the cliff real quick. Oh wow, no like story? That's it? It just goes right to the credits? Okay. I mean there was a story in the in the uh the splash screen. Alright, well that is Super Castlevania 4. I tell you what, the all the other bosses weren't too bad, but Dracula, yeah, it was a whole other whole other thing. But again, I mean, that's typical Castlevania, right? But um, it's just, I'm not used to like the, the rigid movement of Castlevania. The fact that you're, you're like, once you commit to a jump, you have to do it. Like, you can't go back type thing. It's just always been, and especially when there's enemies that are only in like a pixel perfect swoop that you need to miss. It just makes things really hard. But again, that's that's part of the Castlevania formula, right? I might want to give this a shot myself. This looks wonderful. Yeah, this is the uh, Castlevania Anniversary Collection, which uh, I know you play on Switch, I believe. So it's on there. And it's uh, PS4, Xbox One, and Steam here for PC. So now it's showing the boss rush. That skeleton was really easy. I remember that. He wasn't, he wasn't that hard at all. That rotating screen with the Mode 7, that was a really cool, really cool level. Really nice visual. So yeah, almost an hour later, but you know what? Uh, to, to complete a game and just say it was completed here. Well worth it. I get to sleep. Sleep happy now. Rest easy, right? VRAM Designer Virtual RAM. Look at that. That name's shown up uh, quite a few times. And there's a uh, Fred a scare, and uh, what was the other one? What was the lady's name? Uh, oh, I forget the really bad pun. Fred a scare and Paula Abghul. There it is. So yeah, if you're interested in checking this out, uh, Konami did a anniversary collection for Castlevania. They did one for Contra as well. Uh, whether or not they do a Metal Gear one, I doubt it. But And I know people were asking for a Castlevania Advance, or unless I'm wrong, maybe they did release the Advance collection already. Or maybe I'm wrong. All Ab Ghoul, indeed, right? You, you can't make that up. It's It writes itself. But yeah, this is uh, this is Super Castlevania 4. So again, the Castlevania Anniversary Collection has games. The original trilogy on NES. It's got this one for Super NES. It also has... Uh, does it have Dracula X? I don't think it does. 
It's got Castlevania for Game Boy. And I think it also has Kid Dracula, which is kind of like a cute, cutesy spinoff. Was, which was originally only made for Japan. I don't think it has Rondo of Blood. I, I doubt it. That one is on the, if you get the Turbo Graphics Mini, uh, Rondo of Blood is on there. So yeah, I've actually never, I never beat this. I never really played it outside of maybe like the first stage back when it was, uh, you used to be able to go to Funko Land or other stores and, and try out the kiosk for Super Nintendo. Total Director, John Ferrano. So yeah, it's just going through all the bosses here. The gauntlet here to get to Dracula. Producer, Mr. Kijua. Kijau. There's the Grim Reaper. Yeah, those sides are, are tough. Because if you want to get to him, you're gonna you gotta tank the hit. Special thanks, Konami Kurokujai, presented by Konami. And that's it, I guess. The game's probably expecting me to press a button. Oh, and it just goes right, it loops right back to the beginning. Okay. Well, I didn't think it would do that. But uh, yeah, that is it for Castlevania Anniversary Collection. I thought, that, I thought it would have said, you know, congratulations or the end, but it did not. But nonetheless, we are over time here, so I just want to say thank you to those of you who stopped by. Let me give a shout out to Linda the Gamer Girl. Thank you so much. EC Myers, Vids, thank you. 8 Bit Glitch 79. John JT, a pleasure as always. Rax the Great, Bones, thank you so much. I'm trying to see if I missed anyone here. I don't think I did. Oh, Eric. <laughs> Eric, my man. Thank you for stopping by real quick. Hopefully you had a good one. And thank you for, for stopping on by. Uh, another, so I will make a uh, go back and add to the description going forward a list of games completed here on the npl video game club to show a sense of accomplishment right so thank you so much for stopping on by that is one game and what will next week bring i don't know you know linda i know you mentioned x-men uh the simpsons so if hopefully maybe next week i can hook up my xbox 360 and maybe we can do an xbox 360 stream with those beat -em ups so that could be cool. So I always want to take into account the, the feedback. So thank you so much for stopping by. Hopefully you have a wonderful weekend. Please take care. We will see you next week right here on the NPL Video Game Club every Friday, 4 to 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time right here on the NOAA Public Library YouTube channel. Thank you so much for making this your home here on Fridays. We really, really appreciate it. So thank you so much. Have a wonderful weekend. Enjoy the time with loved ones and family. Please be safe out there. And as always, on behalf of the library, this is Aldo signing off. Please take care of yourselves and each other. All right. We will see you next week. Take care, everyone. <laughs>